This thing? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my spy glasses on, Dad. Yeah. So the oh, people. Okay. Yeah. So the people at home wanted to see uh, Maximus's dad do some, get some tips on and how to. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna learn. I've never done this before. So what, here's what you do. See the groove that's in the hammer here? Yep. You slot butt it up. Yep. Into your flooring. Okay. There's a lip on yep. your flooring there. Yep. Make sure this is uh, hard on the surface. Yep. There you go. Uh huh. And just give her. Is there a, her a spot? Do I have to hit it hard? Nope. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> and do this side. So Actually, what does that do? That just drives a. Yeah, it drives a, a, a nail. Yep. Right in that groove. And that That's it. See it? Where's it at? Yeah, this right little here. thing here. Here it is. There. Oh, Here's okay. The nail. Now does it go into the ground? Yeah, it goes right into your subfloor. Ah, oh, all right. right. Pretty easy. Put one in the middle. So uh, put this uh yeah. put that metal thing in right the groove. There. Right there. There you go. And give her a whack. There you go. Now this is gonna become harder when you get close to the wall, it eh? It is, yeah. I think we'll get one more row and that's it. Okay. And then we'll be able to like drill and put hammer hammer some nails into it. Okay. That's all we can do. Okay. Alright, and uh, I would leave this for a minute. Okay. All right, so Dad's measuring out 33 inches, mm -hmm. and then we got to saw this bad boy. You can't saw on the finished side. It okay. Has to be the back end. Okay. Geez, Dad, we might be running our own HGTV show pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're getting shit done. Got all this hardwood finished. Try that piece. Yep. Here. No. Okay. Yeah, you're about two inches short. All right, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we just put down all this floor. Looks good. Um, obviously, there's a small gap there. Um, it's weird because the way this is, the way the floor is, or this this whole living room, it goes from thin to thick. So we had to cut out some small pieces. You're not going to notice any of that once the baseboard gets on. So dad's just getting the last piece. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, plastic up this whole area, this whole room, and we're gonna sand um, all of this down and then stain it so that it all looks the same. But came along nicely. And right now what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking off all the baseboard, popping all that off. And then uh, mom's, mom is the painting station. She's gonna be painting all of it, and uh, yeah, we're coming along in here. Just gonna put the baseboard back there so you get, that way you won't see that crack. And now, Dad and I are working on the carpet. So we're putting down these, uh, these sticks. So we're putting down these sticks, and then once the sticks are down, they got little tiny nails on them, and then we're gonna put the, the foam in the center, and then uh, carpet goes down. And I got a care package of deodorant, because I stink. I don't do uh, manual labor, so I'm not used to this. Foam down, and uh, a couple more small little things, and we're good to layer. Let's go. So now we're shooting in the carpet. Yeah. There we are.
there. So, make sure that's good. Just did all this here. We just put on uh, all these pieces. Looks nice. Looks good. Yeah. It's looking real good. That one stair, right done. Yep. Just like that. Just like that. So dad's down here doing measurements and I'm using my new little gun that we got and uh, tacking in some staples and we're almost uh, we're almost done. Actually done the carpet. Look at that. Looking fresh. Smelling fresh. There's the hardwood down there. Also looking fresh. Are quarantining off the uh, the living room space because we're going to be sanding all of this hardwood down. It's going to make a lot of mess, and then we're going to stain it so that it all looks the same. Because right now, you can tell what the newer stuff is and the older stuff. Then we can put the baseboard back on, and the living room will be done. And some touch-ups on paint. Actually, all this is getting repainted. So, um, yeah, pretty productive day. And the carpet's all done too. I don't know if you guys can see that. We just finished uh, up at the house today. It's at 4.30. I got there at 10.30, so we've been there for a little while. Um, got the carpets done, got the hardwood done. The basement is 100% complete. Uh, the top floor is uh, basically 100% complete, like 98%. Uh, my wife is upstairs finishing the painting, so that'll be done today before she goes to work. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a solid day, got a lot done. I spoke to the, uh, the old tenants. Uh, believe it or not, they were nice enough to understand the situation, so they're gonna be uh, giving me an extra $1,000 uh, for the damages. And, um, you know, that'll, that'll pay for all the materials. And, um, you know, obviously I'm paying my parents a little bit to be in there, even though they didn't ask for any money, but you don't have people in that, you know, slaving for days and you don't pay them. So, um, yeah, I'll be out, I'll be out some money, but not nearly as much. I'll be out a thousand dollars less. Um, so, you know, overall that was some good news and, uh, we think everything will be done by the weekend. We're going to take tomorrow off so everybody can get some work done at their jobs. And on Wednesday, uh, we're going to sand down the hardwood and, uh, yeah, and then get ready to stain that a couple days later. Gonna let all the dust settle and stuff like that. But the house should be 100% complete, ready to go by the end of next week. We'll, uh, we'll give you guys another update when the time comes. But this is gonna be another episode of The Bouse House. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.